Hello my friend, in this lesson we will solve a tricky problem with Power BI and Power Query. We have this scenario, we have this table with customer tickets and uh, we want to know if we have repeated tickets in less than 10 days from the same customer. We will solve this problem with Power Query, we could open right here in Excel Power Query but we will solve it in Power BI. So, we will switch to Power BI and we will start to edit the query. So the first thing that we have to do is to sort the customers in ascending order and then the opening date in ascending order and you will see that Power BI keeps track. You have here one, the first order, and here two, the second order. Okay, now we have to add an index column starting from one and another index column starting from zero. And now you see that the second column has a correspondence with the first index column, okay, one with one. Now, we rename this index as previous record. Now, we will do a trick, a self-join we will merge these two queries previous record with index ok, we let like here, left outer and press ok now we don't need these two columns and here we will expand and we'll only keep the customer and the closing date OK. And now we will rename this column as previous closing date. And now we will add a custom column. And now we want to check if the difference between the opening date of the previous record and the closing date of the second one is less than 10 days then we have a repeated ticket so we start the formula if customer is equal with rename customer okay this and the opening date minus previous closing date is less and equal with 10 then we will put the flag repeated ticket else null but now if we press ok we will have an error because in power query we cannot make this difference between dates we have to cover it with duration dot days ok closing parenthesis and ok Okay, here we can say repeat the ticket. Okay, and uh, we can delete these two columns. Okay, close and apply. So now we have 
the flag here these two customers that have the second ticket inside the 10 days of the previous tickets this is the trick in Power Query I hope you like this lesson please like and subscribe thank you